And of course, this is coming out of Austria, where it goes on to say this is a, z a zero hedge. And it says, unvaccinated Austrians face prison time, huge fines for noncompliance. It says, Austri uh, Austrians who refuse to take a mandatory COVID-19 vaccine before a government-imposed deadline face prison sentences and huge compounding non uh, fines for noncompliance. After initially placing the unvaccinated under lockdown, a policy that completely failed, Chancellor Alexander Schallenberg announced that the jab would become compulsory from February 1st. Questions as to what happens to those who still refuse to take it have now been answered in the form of a draft that was leaked to the media. Under the bill, anyone who refused to attend a scheduled vaccination appointment would receive an official summons from local authorities. If an individual failed to show up, they would be summoned one more time within the next four weeks. And this is, of course, according to RT. Should the second official request be ignored as well, the person would face a fine of over $4,000 or four weeks in prison. The fine would increase to 8000 for those who had already been fined twice for violating the vaccination requirement. No one will be forcibly brought to a vaccination center to get jabbed against their will, although, rest assured, they will be forcibly placed behind bars if they continue to refuse. If it passes, the legislation will stay in place for three years. The government deciding if having recovered from COVID-19 is a reasonable exemption. Only pregnant women and children under the age of 12, in addition to those who face a danger to life or health, quote, by getting the, uh, by getting the vaccine, will be exempt. The bill will also make regular booster shots compulsory. With tens of thousands of protesters taking to the streets of Vienna in recent weeks, expect unrest to grow. As we previously highlighted, former World Health Organization Director Anthony Castello warned that making COVID-19 vaccines mandatory would cause riots across Europe. And this is basically where we are at in certain countries, where we're seeing the authoritarianism begin to grow. Like I have said, step by step, where the men of the nation do not take up the responsibility to fight for their freedom, the strength of the authoritarian party will grow. And as more individuals succumb to the pressure from the state and local government, many of those individuals will inevitably side with the government, very similar to what happened in Germany, to where literally they are making experimentation via vax via quote unquote vaccination and booster shots compulsory under law of fine or jail and that is where we're at now <clears throat> as an update to the uh, story we talked about yesterday in with the checkpoints in australia as it goes on to state this was the the update it says three arrested after scaling fence of the australian COVID quarantine compound in middle of the night. It says officials say the three teens did not come in contact with the community at large. And of course, thank goodness those 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 uh, disease spreading individuals were not coming in contact with us. Thank God we were we were safe now. Thank you, uh, police officers. We're right back to blue. So how old were these people? It says three teenagers were have been arrested after escaping from a COVID-19 quarantine facility in the middle of the night. The age of the three boys was 15, 16, and 17, who scaled the fence of the Howard Springs Center near Darwin in the Northern Territory on Tuesday. And it says that they were arrested, launching a manhunt on Wednesday. Thank God they found them. Who knows what would have been the outcome had they come in contact with us, right? We can't have these, we can't have these people, right? These infected people coming in contact with us and this is where we are this is where we are this is where we are now and this is why i say 
that this is a conversation that many should be having of where will we be a year from now? What if things economically get worse in many of these countries and you see uh, recessions or depressions? What will be the outcome then? How will they weaponize this against the poor? Something that something to think about. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Feel free, of course, to leave your comments below. And I will check you out next time.